Thanks, Sam. I'm here where the USU track and field team competes. Now, they're not a direct target of House Bill 302, but there could be a trickle-up effect. At the NCAA Regional Cross Country Qualifier in Logan in 2017, the men and women raced separately. Men ran farther and faster. With a proposed new Utah law, that could be changing. We can include you, we can accept you, we can love you, whether you're transgender or whether you're a boy. But give us the court, the track, or the field for us. Taking all the records away from them and taking away all their opportunities because we're just going to be better the minute we join girls sports and dominate, which none of that is true. They're talking about House Bill 302. Representative Kara Berkland created this bill to require Utah junior high and high schools to designate athletics based on birth gender. It prohibits males from competing in a league with females, or in other words, it prohibits transgender girls from participating in girls' sports. That's the part that starts to get me emotional because, you know, these kids are, you know, they're kind of defenseless, defenseless and they're being attacked about who they are. They're being attacked by adults. I've always been an advocate to the LGBT community. But when it comes to sports, we have to recognize how it will dramatically change women's sports if we don't put parameters in place. The first proposal of the bill was on February 11th. After review, officials then brought the bill to the House of Representatives on February 17th. The House voted to pass the bill 50 to 23, which then moved the bill to the Senate. They met last week, but they didn't choose to vote for or against the bill, and that's why it stalled. It lost a lot of support. There was not a lot of support for the bill in that committee meeting. It's been hard, but um, I figure my, my actions hopefully will continue on and, and show people that I do care. While the USU track team let us film them practicing, they told us they're not allowed to comment on the issue. Although the bill is considered dead for now, advocates from both sides agree that here in Utah, there are still conversations to be had. My hope is moving forward that we can start pushing that conversation and start pushing for a healthier um, education system for all Utah kids. I will do anything that I need to do so that they know that they can have a relationship with me. But we have to have these hard conversations. Believing, understanding, supporting, huh? Just listening to us, really, instead of ignoring us and trying to push us aside. If people would listen and actually listen, not just sit down, but actually open up their hearts and minds and hear what we're saying, I feel like that would be so much beneficial to the entire community. Yeah. It's just hard to make people sit down and actually listen to us. As far as the finish line goes for the bill, Utah senators have until March 5th to make an official decision. But for now, it's not looking like it's going to cross it. Reporting from the Ralph Mon Stadium, Sarah Murphy, ATV News. Now back to you, Sam.